What's up guys? I'm in the middle of redoing the harness on this engine. This is the old head. It's blown, so we're not worried about that valve cover just sitting on there. Uh, just for mock-up. Um, I'm going to use these old connectors off of my original harness to make a new harness. Um, I'm actually running a FT, our FuelTech FT450. I know I could have got new ones, but I'm kind of cheap like that. I'm just going to reuse these ones. They're perfectly fine. I could just get new pins and crimp them onto the new ones. Um, I took them all off. I probably will take that one off too, the C101 connector. Um, I'll probably need that. I'll probably utilize that. Um, I might even utilize this grommet. I'm not sure. Um, or we could go with one of those bulkhead fancy connectors, but I'm probably not going to. So yeah, there's that. Um, she's out there, broken down right now. Um, if you if you are following the build, you know that the original engine let go about a little over 600 horsepower. It was a stock K20A2, but this is the new one. I mean, it is a sleeved engine. Uh, we'll be wiring up eight injectors. Uh, miscellaneous sensors, um, uh, no more map sensor, fuel tech has that built in. Um, but yeah, follow and stay tuned. This is the old setup. Uh, I got this all sold. I got this sold um, to a fellow on Facebook. Uh, stay tuned for the build. Uh, what else? That's really it. I got, oh well, I got the head right here for the, the new engine going. And a uh, stock TSX crank, IPS KT2 cams. Everything else is kind of at work. I got a rise piston with HD disc pins going in. Commander Car Gasket, L19 head studs. So we should we should make some some horsepower for sure. Totally thinking about getting rid of this. Not sure. It's the water pump housing. I might go electric water pump. I'm running into a problem with eight injectors. Is I had to grind that down because the fuel rail hits it. So it worked on the last setup, but I'm not sure. It's going to work with actually utilizing these eight injectors, so I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, there is nit uh, nitrous on here, but I won't be using it right now. I don't think so. Anyways. Yeah, well, that's it. Stay tuned. So here's the beginning of uh, making the harness for the element. Um, I just kind of measured... Um, to how long I think the firewall is to where the display is gonna be. I'm just gonna use this to mock it up for the length. This is about how far the firewall will be. This is about how far the engine is gonna be from the firewall connection. Um, that's just kind of a, a estimate. The engine's not in the car, it's right there. Um, so we're um, just trying trying to do the best we can with what we have. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome back. Um, so now I was doing a lot of research and kind of studying the manual for the FuelTech um, FT550. I came to the conclusion of what I'm going to run and how I'm going to run it so far. Um, and I just took the two, two harnesses, A and B, and kind of just uh, split them up into um, stuff I'm going to use and um, stuff I'm not. Now, you're not supposed to wind these up in a coil and leave it connected. You could just simply depin them out of the connector. But for now, before it's it's permanent, I'm, that's, how, that's how I'm going to do it. <clears throat> so if you go over to connect, connector 1, we have um, 1 through... Four I'm going to use for primary injection. 
And then we're gonna use one through four grays for coil one through four. I'm using uh, in, white input one and two for cam, intake cam exhaust sensors. Um, let's see. Um, it says coil four, that's just the same. It's just on the other side. Then I'm gonna use um, white input number five for throttle position. White input six and seven are gonna be fuel pressure sensors and oil pressure sensors. And we're gonna use coolant temp on number three, white number three and VSS input on white input number four. So here, it fell down. Oh. So here I just separated these into what I'm gonna use. These right here, um, I think one of them is a ground, one of them is power, um, a couple grounds, a couple powers, one of them is a switched relay. So some are gonna go into the engine bay and some are gonna stay into the cab. Um, I will be mounting the battery into the, uh, under the dash. It's just a nice AGM battery under the dash to make the wiring super short. And here is connected B. So I'm running eight injectors, so uh, all the secondary injectors are going to be wired to uh, outputs, blue outputs again. Um, eight, nine, 14, 15 is how it's wired here. I'm going to use yellow output um, one and two for VTEC solenoid and VTC actuator. I also have a turbine speed sensor on the turbocharger, so I'm going to use a white input number eight for that, and a yellow output number three for the boost solenoid.